Hi, this is um, an intro video for Math 108. My name is Joanna Boyette. You see my picture there. Um, and we'll meet in person at some point during the semester, hopefully. Um, this course has proctored exams. But I wanted to um, walk you through a few things, um, take you through the syllabus, and then I want to show you around um, the Blackboard website and show you kind of where you can find help for different things. So first, let's talk through the syllabus. Um, one second, let me get this bigger. So the syllabus is posted online. Please print it out. And it has all of the information that you'll need to know um, or point you to places in Blackboard. OK, so there's um, my name. I'm your instructor, Joanna Boyette, and my email here. Um, when emailing me, it really helps if you put which class you're in and include your first and last name. Um, that helps me find you. If you have questions about the assignment, I know which class we're talking about, different things like that uh, are just really helpful to enable me to get back to you quickly. Um, I am in Exploratory Hall Room 4403. And then you'll find my office number and also my cell number. Um, I will likely be on campus Tuesdays and Thursdays this spring and then mostly be working from home other days. So please feel free to call me on my cell phone um, during those hours um, if you need something. Um, I do have office hours, in-person office hours Tuesday and Thursday from 1 to 2. And online, we'll have office hours from 10 to 11 on Wednesday. I also hold office hours by appointment. So please, if none of those times work for you, um, don't be discouraged. We can always set up an appointment to talk about whatever is giving you trouble. OK? In this course, um, we do talk about um, basic calculus um, and mostly talk about its applications towards business and IT. OK? Um, this is an online asynchronous course, which means we don't meet at the same time online, except if you want to come to office hours. Um, I use Blackboard. And there are five proctors exams, four term exams. There are four chapters mostly that we cover. So I have an exam over each of those during the semester. And then a final exam, OK? I do give proctored exams. So you'll see that later on. You need to be able to come. And I have assigned dates and times to campus or find an approved proctoring facility if you're not within driving distance to George Mason. OK? So if that's you, please contact me early in the semester. Um, finding a proctoring facility is um, reasonable, but we need to get started on it. OK? This course satisfies the quantitative reasoning requirement. And base, in this course, we want to go over basic quantitative reasoning skills, interpreting quantitative information. We want to formulate problems to be able to turn real world problems into mathematics and solve them, uh, using logical um, arguments and communicating um, information um, effectively. Specifically to do that, we cover a little bit of of algebra at the beginning of this semester. And then we um, talk about the main idea in calculus, or the preliminary idea in calculus, which is derivatives as a method of analyzing change. Um, and then we apply that to applications. Um, and then at the very end, we talk a little bit about integrals. Okay. You'll see the book here, Applied Calculus. The book should run you $68 new with an access code. It's a very reasonably priced book. If you prefer, you can buy the access code only, $30 online, to access the ebook and the homework system. You need an access code because we use this XYZ homework system in the course. Okay. You can use a scientific calculator in this course or a TI-83 or 84. You may not on exams use an 89, a 92, or the TI Inspire. And I check calculators pretty quick, um, carefully on exams. OK. Um, you do need um, access to a computer and the internet to take this course. Um, uh, I do post YouTube videos, so high speed internet access is helpful there. Um, you should be able to access your Blackboard account. Um, and 
um, get into our Math 108 course. And um, in order to communicate with me, you need a GMU email account. I don't um, respond to emails from other email addresses. Okay. Um, video lectures are posted in YouTube, uh, and that requires Adobe Flash Player. So please check that out in week one. Um, I tried it out in a bigger class this past fall, and I didn't have any problems with people accessing YouTube. It's a pretty um, accessible program for the most part. Okay. Here are the test dates that are required. Um, they're from 6 to 7:30 p.m. on February 20th. March 6th, April 3rd, and April 17th. Okay, I believe those are all Thursday evenings. I try to do it during the week. Um, so um, the final exam is proctored, but the date and time hasn't been set yet by the university. So I'll let you know when it, that is. Okay, and, and there's a full class schedule at the last page. Okay, this course is made up of, or the work in this course, um, there are several things that you need to do each week. Okay, the graded assignments include those four tests. Those are 60% overall. We do online work, XYZ homework checks, and online discussion. That's worth 10%. I ask you to turn in written problems to me each week as well. That's 10%. And the final exam is 20%. Okay, I do not. I do not curb grades in this course. <clears throat> so and usually end up with a standard grade breakdown. Um, each week I assign problems out of the book. Um, I don't take them up. I don't in any way check that you have been doing them. You need to do them in order to do well in this course. It is very very difficult to just study mathematics without practicing it and really grasp the concepts. Okay. So those are the YouTube videos and that um, the homework that I assigned is the bulk of the work in this course. Okay, each week I give a smaller quiz in XYZ homework. Um, there's information in week zero and the, it says start here to sign up and there's a short video introduction. Um, so you can go through that process it is computer graded. It's very picky. There's no partial credit. Um, so you kind of do, it takes a little bit to get used to the system. And those are due Sunday at 11.59 p.m. Okay. You can go in and rework problems as many times as you would like and your grade is updated as long as you do that before the due date. Okay. And again, uh, for all the assignments in this class, I don't accept late work. Um, I do end up dropping grades in each of the categories except for exams. So a couple of XYZ homeworks will be dropped um, and a couple of grades from your written work will be dropped, but I don't accept late work. Okay. Each week there is a graded discussion. We're using a website called Piazza to conduct those small group discussions. So I split the whole class, which is about 40 students, into groups of 10 students. I assign the group about 10 problems for homework to review or post, okay? So one student doesn't have to post anything, but they um, lead the discussion. That means um, that they um, assign who has to do each problem, and then they also make sure that those are getting done. Um, that's the leadership role, and then uh, the other people um, that that rotates each week, and the other people actually have to post um, a solution to a problem. Okay, so that is, if you go into Blackboard, you can go through that. You can look in Piazza, get signed up, and see how that kind of will work. Um, written work. Um, I also ask you to turn in a problem to me written because the exams are not multiple choice. They're all full um, write-out exams. So um, I want to be able to give you feedback before you come in to sit down for the exam to, so that you know how things will be graded in this course. Okay, so I ask you to turn in run, one written assignment. I give instructions on how to do that also in Blackboard. You have to turn these in in a PDF file and I, I talk about how to either you can scan them in in a PDF 
or in Blackboard I talk about how to take a picture with your camera phone and just um, and put it into Word and save it as a PDF. Okay, that should be reasonable. Um, and that all of that kind of how-to tutorials are up in Blackboard in week zero. Okay, and all of those are graded out of ten points. There are four exams in this course, and then an also a comprehensive final exams. I don't give makeup exams, so if you have car trouble or anything like that, you get sick, that's fine. Your lowest score on any of those four exams is replaced by your grade on the final exam. If you don't miss any, your lowest score is still replaced as long as the final exam will help you. Okay, and there are the dates for the exams again. There is a math tutoring center on campus in Johnson Center Room 344. Okay, um, I do expect students to adhere to the George Mason Honor Code, code in this class. Um, anything that you turn in for a grade should be your own work. If you're putting your name on it, it should be your work, not anyone else's work. This is especially true for exams. Um, I will check IDs and um, do those sorts of things to make sure that um, everything is fine during the exams. Okay. Um, if you um, are if you have spoken with the Office of Disability Services and have accommodations that need to be met, please let me know. Um, that's not a problem. There are also other services still available for online students um, through George Mason Counseling and Psychological Services and a lot of other um, offices um, at the university that can be of help to you if, if you need um, anything. So please look into those or let me know um, and I can look into it. Um, the last page of the syllabus is a course schedule, which hopefully you will print out and keep with you. Um, weeks run from Monday to Sunday in this course, and each week contains the following. Number one, ungraded assignments, okay? Watch the video lectures and work the homework problems listed. Those are both ungraded. I don't keep track if you do them or not, and you don't get any sort of grade points for doing them. The graded assignments every single week are, is a discussion in Piazza, there is an XYZ homework every week, and there is written work every week. Okay, those three things need to be turned in every single week, um, it, and they will be graded. Okay, so here are kind of the dates, get ready for class, class introduction and review, and then you'll see here this last column tells you the test dates. Okay, so you'll see how we're kind of moving through the material, chapter one, chapter two, three, four, and five. Okay, so this is the basic syllabus. Um, let me know if you have any questions about that. Let me go over, I want to also take you through Blackboard. So let me switch over real quick. This is the Blackboard shell. It, this is what you should see right now when, when you come in. Welcome. And let me switch to student mode so you can see it how I do. Or I can see it how you do. So you'll see in almost all the weeks, this is week zero, start here. You'll see links here to go to the next um, the next section. So how to do well in an online course. I give you tips there check the technology that you might need. Um, the technology um, requirements in this course are actually very, very minimal. Uh, so how to sign up for XYZ homework. It goes through that. I give a video introduction to XYZ homework. Um, how to sign up for Piazza. So there's a lot in this week zero. Here's the Piazza. Here's a video on kind of posting and doing some examples. I also have a PDF for posting kind of shortcuts and some tips on, on um, what makes a good post and then you'll see the grading rubric below. Okay. Then instructions for the written work. So you see all of these kind of instructions in week zero so that you um, know what's going on. Here's the assignment. There's a lot here um, but honestly if you're familiar with creating PDFs that should not be that big a deal. And then I have also posted a practice week zero written work. It's ungraded 
But if you want to make sure that you're able to post a PDF file and upload it to Blackboard, I don't accept those via email, but you have to upload them to Blackboard. Um, if you want to practice, here it is in week zero. It's, a, it's just a practice assignment so you can make sure that you're familiar with that process. Okay. In general, you will probably, after um, the first week, you'll land, oh, let me go back here. So here in week zero, I just want to also point out, there are these links to XYZ Homework Piazza, and here's the link to my online office hours if you want to get there. So on Wednesdays, that's from 10 to 11, this would be the link that you um, click on. But if you want to get to a Piazza to do the discussion, there's that link. Here's the link for XYZ Homework, okay? After week zero, you will land, this will be the main landing page for the course. And then each week looks very similar. So here it starts, again I have this list of things for you to go through. The week one overview, it talks about what you need to do this week, watch the video lectures, do the homework problems, and then here are the graded assignments. Do the weekly discussion, do the week one quiz in XYZ, and complete the written assignment. Okay, that's the same three things you'll have to do each week. So in order to do this weekly discussion, you have to go out to Piazza here. To do the XYZ homework, you have to go to XYZ homework. The written assignment is listed, if you see here, the last one um, link in this list. Okay, but otherwise these are all the work and the um, material that I have posted for you. For example, here the first thing we'll review is on exponents. This is a mini lecture on exponents. It's just 10 minutes long. And then a few problems for you to work here in this handout, okay? Um, there are, there's an ebook link. There's not that much in your book about exponents, but um, through the XYZ website, there's another kind of link to some material. And then also some example problems there. So with more information. Okay, so in each one of these, you kind of usually have a mini lecture. The one on radicals is 15 minutes, and then some problems for you to work. The one on polynomials is nine minutes. But you kind of get an idea of how much there is to do. And then lastly, this um, you will be doing in week one the XYZ homework. You need to do the Piazza discussion as well. And here, turn in this written problem. Okay. Okay. So hopefully I want you guys to get started, especially on the week zero stuff and make sure that we get any kind of administrative questions out of the way before the semester starts. Um, and that way we'll be ready to actually talk about the mathematics um, when the semester begins. It should be a really great semester. Um, but let me know if you have any questions.